Day 16 of the Lambing Vlogs. I've just finished another edit here at the PC. I just want to say thanks again guys for everyone who's bought some merchandise and supported the channel. We're basically out of all the adult hoodies in most sizes. We do have some kids hoodies left for those sheep fans that have been helping you out over lambing time. If you want some of them, check out the website below. And thanks very much for everyone who's already bought some merchandise. Another little thing I want to make you aware of is my Patreon page. Now Patreon is an app that allows people to subscribe and share ideas on different subjects and my Patreon is specifically focused at new entrant farmers and people keeping sheep wanting to learn more about sheep husbandry and shepherding. So if you're interested in that, have a look at the link below. The next Zoom meeting we're doing is on worming lambs. That will be on the 3rd of May at 7pm and that will involve a presentation from an industry professional and then some open discussion and questions as well between all the Patreon members. So if you think that's something that might be beneficial to yourself, then download the app, search for the Sheep Game, and join our members page. Let's start the vlog. Good morning, sheep fans. Cami's the name. Sheep is the game. And it's another day at the lambing. Hope you're all well. Hope your own lambings are going well also. The well has been pretty good apart from a few inches of snow, especially for you guys up north. So hope you're getting on okay. And down in Wales, I see a bit Gareth Wynne Jones has got a fair bit of snow down there as well. We've been very lucky here in Ayrshire as we're quite near the coast. We don't get so much. But anyway, we've got a first problem this morning already. This little lamb. I saw it standing with mum. She has one lamb that she loves apparently. But this lamb she doesn't love, and it was just butting it away, and I can see the lamb's very hungry. And there's a fresh one right over the back there too. Hey, lamb. There you go, very fresh, we won't disturb mum. We'll go around a wee tour of that field. So we'll get this lamb home, I'm not even going to fight with the ewe, she's got one good lamb there she's happy with. For whatever reason, she doesn't want this lamb. So we'll just take it home, get it some colostrum, and we'll find it a new mum, as we always do. Now I know a lot of you guys that watch this video don't subscribe to the channel, which is fine. It's great that you're watching the videos, but it'd be great if anyone who hasn't yet subscribed could do so. Try and get us up to that 20k mark. I've got myself involved in a little challenge with Aaron Lavoy, who's a Midwestern hoof trimmer. We're sitting at almost the exact same subscribers. So the idea is that if I use lambs as a clickbait, not clickbait, as uh, emotional pulls on your heartstrings, you'll click that subscribe button. What is it Meg? You're a bigger draw than a lamb. I know you're right, you're right. Megan. <laughs> yes. Subscribe for Meg. Come on, let's get those numbers up. 20k. 20k we're going for. Looking good ladies. Try and love your lambs though. Great start to the around the Cheviots here with these couple of cracking Cheviot mule lambs there fresh out the wrapper just going to try and walk some through the little gate here as usual walk up lie down hey definitely a thing with Cheviots is to let them think things are their idea because if they get too spooked and wound up they'll just not do what you want them to do lie down There you go, they're slipping through there. Even that fresh born pair just straight through with her mum. Tremendous. That'll do, Meg. Good dog. That'll do. Good dog. <laughs> yes. So this really highlights the importance of your ears when you're out looking at sheep, not just your eyes, because I could hear a lamb that just didn't sound very... sounded rather distressed. And sure enough, we have this little guy here. Now, hopefully he'll just stand there while I grab him. How have you managed to get there, little lamb? Come on, Wait, what side's mum on? Oh, jings. Okay, so, again just using the ears, I'm seeing a blackie up here shouting and it's just one lamb, so we're going to guess 
that the land belongs to her and we'll take it up there to her. Mum, now listen, I've got a lamb here. Oh, steady lamb, steady, jeez. Oh, jinx, you've jumped it, okay. Okay, he's fine, she's fine. Her mum's upset. So I'll go and bring her back round. Oh no, now he's following me. Oh, I can't even go fast enough to pull away from him. Here we go. It looks like a beautiful reunion. Here we go. How do you know okay. it's a triplet? How do I know it's a triplet? It's got three lambs. No, I mean, no. what colour It's got a green dot on it. That's a triplet there. So, I'm just going to do a little bit here about this sheep. A little informative section for the vlog. So, this shows the importance of having a good shepherd running your flock. Because this sheep here, she has a check out of her ear from last year. Can you see that there in the silhouetted? So she has a check out of her ear from last year. Now, usually that means either she's had a really hard lambing and there's been issues, or more commonly, she is only milking from one side. And believe it or not, on this occasion, this triplet ewe is only milking on one side. So now we have a ewe with three lambs, but only milk on one side because the shepherd in the back end didn't notice the little check that he himself had put on the sheep as a sign that she was to go to the market. So now we have uh, two more pet lambs. Okay, <laughs> two more pet lambs. Uh, I guess we're taking two off her. Yes, we are. We're going to take two off her. It's this one. Sad. Aye, we'll let them get licked up and then we'll get them tubed and look after them. That poor wee lamb's sucking the side with no milk. Oh, jinx. And we're absolutely full to the gunnels in here in the lambing shed. Just have a quick, with another single lambing down the side there. Every single pen is full. There is 21 in the mothering pen at the back. Tom's doing the pet lambs, because he's a legend. And this is now down from 200 sheep to 55, I believe. They're going fast, we're about 70% done. So we're doing well. Go get the trail loaded up and get another load out to grass. The nephews are a little bit soft, they're just no use to it. And you know, you can't just run to Gran when you're scared. You, you ever watch YouTube, Wilson? Yeah. Who do you watch on YouTube? I like my videos. Blippi? No, that's these videos. Are you too old for Blippi now? Nope. Who do you watch? I like my, my YouTube videos. Right, okay. That's fine. Like, Regan, you don't, you don't like the sheep, Regan? No. Scared? No. Ah, he's scared. scared. Yeah, I'm a, a gambling. Are you scared? I know. You're not scared? I just dropped one because it's too heavy. <laughs> uh, he was trying to pick one up, but it was too heavy for him. These are quite strong. These lambs have been in for two days. Bye, Regan. Regan, you're a worry. You'll need to get into it, son. You'll get used to it. I'll speak to his mother, make sure that... Mother is mother, I see that mother. Make sure she gets him up to the shed.
So there's probably somewhere in the region of 150 lambs in here. And about 80 odd sheep, 90 sheep maybe. Maybe slightly more lambs. I said 150, man, do you think? Be more than that though. I think there's, uh, it was 100 days. No. <laughs> okay, maybe 180. 20 odd to the same days. Yeah, 180 lambs. Up. Hey, there's, there is the, the amount that there is. I have the sheep that I have. Do you know what? I've done so many things off the camera today, I can't remember what's on the camera. So I'm going to quickly sum up this vlog by saying that we now have six sets of triplets in the small pens here. And I'm thinking I might start putting some outside as triplets. <gasps> Never done it before, but I'm thinking I might do it. Might put a creep feeder to them to help them out. I might not, I'm not sure. I'm thinking a poorer done lamb is better than no lamb, is what I'm thinking, especially the price of lamb at the moment. Anyway, quick sum up, and I don't think I covered this in the vlog, this lamb here, and suckling its mother. This is this cheviot that ended up in the river in the last vlog, in the burn. It's not a river, it's a burn. In the last vlog. That's the big headed lamb that just wasn't getting up and wasn't doing. Oh, there she's popped him out. Look at his head now. What a recovery. He's a big stretch of lamb there and he's doing great. Mum will probably go back out to grass tomorrow. So that was another great story. End of another vlog, guys. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you for the next one. Ah! <laughs>